Welcome to the second tutorial on the Bohemian Canvas Collection. If you have not already viewed the first tutorial on this collection, I advise you to do so as it covers some very basic information on applying these textures to your photos. Today we are going to be working with this photo on the left and we're going to be turning it into the art piece on the right. For those of you who are interested, I shot this image in my studio against a black background with only one large soft box, a 48 inch octobox, that was lighting the subject. Again, we are working in Photoshop, and this photo needs to be edited before it can have textures applied on top of it. This is the edited version right here, and as you can see, I smoothed out the skin. Um, I yellowed the skin, um, gave it more of a yellowish blue tinge. I sharpened the photo in certain areas. I, I applied sharpening to her eyes and a little bit of her hair and some of the details on her dress. Um, I did not open out the shadows too much because I'm going to rely on my texture to do that. So this is the edited photo ready for texturing. Now we are ready to apply a texture. The texture I've chosen is called Sandbar from the Bohemian Canvas Collection. And you grab your Move tool swing it on over like that. There are those bounding boxes that you can adjust. If you don't see them, just press Control T, like so. Press Enter or Return to seal in the transformation. And now we can really start texturing. So, blend mode I'm going to use is hard light for this particular piece. Bring down the opacity at the top like that. And now you can kind of also play around with the size of the texture. You can move it around. I think I'm going to stretch it a bit like this. And every time you make that adjustment, you still need to press Enter or Return. Okay. Now, um, I do want to bring out her face a little bit and make her stand out, but not so much so that she does not look like she belongs in this particular art piece. So therefore, I do tend to leave some texture on the skin, especially with the Bohemian canvas textures, because they are very rough, and if the subject appears totally smooth, it's not going to seem as though she belongs in this particular image. So since I'm trying to evoke the feeling of a painted canvas, the canvas texture should be present everywhere. Okay, here we go. I do want to remove some of the um, texture from the skin. So again, I'm going to go back up to normal. Opacity 100% and here I only see the texture. I'm going to go to my color picker here and choose a color in the area of her face. Press OK. Go back down to my chosen blend mode which is hard light. Bring that opacity down like that. Press B for brush. Make, make sure you have a nice soft brush selected. And I'm not going to use 100% opacity on my brush. I'm going to go down to about 52% or so. And then I'm just going to gently take some of the texture away, not all. Like this. If you feel you've done too much, you can go up to Window, Show History, which I use all the time, and go back like this. Go back to your areas like that. I'm going to reduce that opacity even more and just gently brush away texture from her shoulder and go over it from her hand. And as you can see, I'm leaving most of the texture on the other arm. Um, I really don't want to do too much more than this because I want to I want to make sure that she is appearing as a painting more than anything else. That from her hair. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm going to go up to layer, merge visible, and now I have to give this some punch. I'm going to use a levels adjustment layer. And I'm just going to bring in my blacks like so and pull in the midtones a little bit. And that's about it. 
layer, merge visible. Okay, now from here, I'm going to turn this into a black and white. And I like to use my favorite method for this, which is going up to layers, adjustment layer, and down to gradient map. Press OK. And as you can see, it uses the two tones um, from the image, the black and that soft cream that we just chose. And of course, we don't want a negative image, so you go to your adjustment uh, panel here, and you choose third from the right, and you've got your black and white right there. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave it like this. Now, I'm going to use a new texture called Venetian Pink from the Italian collection to add some color in here, open out the shadows, and create a little more interest. Okay, we're going to collapse those layers, layer, orange visible, and now we're going to use a new texture from the Italian collection called Venetian Pink. And this has more of an impasto um, feel to it. I often use two or more textures in my pieces and I love to mix and match from all the collections. So again, you grab your move tool and you drag and drop this texture over and across like this. Apply it with your bounding boxes, press return or enter. And let's take a look at our layers palette. Here we go. Okay. This particular blend mode um, is going to be uh, linear light. And don't panic, it's not going to look this garish. I bring it all the way down just to give some pink tone. And right away you can see it's starting to open up the sides here, the dark shadows, and give it some extra detail. Like this, okay. And I will remove some of this texture from off of her skin as well. So we have to do the same thing. We have to go up to normal, 100% opacity, color picker, that, back down to linear light and our chosen opacity like this. Um, B for brush and erase away the texture mostly from her skin now. Let's do 100% this time because I've already got my canvas texture there. There we go. And you might want to take some of this dress here like so okay go up to layer merge visible and now we're going to uh, desaturate that pink slightly but um, change some of the pinks in the background here actually to blues and greens and there's a very nice way to do this you go up to layer and get a levels adjustment layer going like this. And then instead of adjusting the levels on the RGB um, image in general, you're going to go into your channels here, go into the blue channel, move this slider to the left, then into the green channel and move that slider to the left. And so I get a little subtle hints of green, blue, and some pink is left. You can reduce the opacity on this particular layer or keep it at 100%. And that's how I give some extra hints and tones to my black and whites. And also we have some more texturing going on from the Venetian pink. Go up to Layer, Merge Visible, and the image is finished. Occasionally I will add some extra touches to an image. And in this particular case, I do want it to have a little more punch, especially around the face. So I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer like so. And this is just going to be a normal levels adjustment. I'm going to pull in the blacks a little bit and open up the mid-tones just slightly. Let's take a look. And that gives it 
more of the drama that I'm looking for. Layers, merge visible, and the image is complete.